You look like a tangerine. Like a dream? <laughs> like a dream. Great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Mal. What's up, Cole? Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Try Before We Die, the whiskey review show where we don't know what we're drinking, but we'll tell you what we're thinking. And Mal, we don't plan any of this, right? No. Now, before we pick our bottle, and we'll get right to it, do you remember when we opened that Glen Morangi A Star? Oh, back, way back. Yeah, it was the creme brulee. It was the 2017 oh, yes. release. Yeah, the creme brulee. Do you remember what I said in that episode that I wanted to do next regarding the A Stars? No. They said, oh, I'm going to have to get out there and source the original 2008 release. Thanks, Chip. Oh, very nice. Right. So uh, we try to do what we say we're going to do. Very so nice. we have this on the shelf now. Hopefully we'll get a, a number. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to be in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> but it's on the shelf. It's a higher ABV release, too. I don't know, 68. <laughs> but let's see if it's tonight's bottle. Now, yes. why don't you give us a, give Randy Ooh. a whirl. I do. The bottom press is so much better. Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah. All right, so tonight we're going to unscripted, unplanned review, open bottle 69. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not too far off. Let's see which one it actually is. We actually mattered. You see, we got some numbers. Oh, 16, 31, Look at this. 46. Yeah. 61, 62, 63, 64, 5, 6, 7, 8, ooh, doggy, 9, 69, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. It is. Bottle 69 is not the 2008 A Star. What is it, though, Mal? I have no idea. Oh, ooh, doggy. Oh, the classic cut. We got a classic cut. We have the 2021 release from McAllen. Uh. <laughs> what do we know about classic cut? Uh, just a wonderfully put together drink. So the only one we've had, though, is the 2017, Correct. which everybody says is the release. It's the most expensive on the secondary market. We don't pay a lot of attention to money because mostly we spend Mal's paycheck around here. Uh. Um, but the 2021 release... What's with the holograph up top there? It's remember they changed oh, their that's thing. Right, yes. Yeah. So I think it's just a twist. Oh. And it's been released. Squeaky and full of life. That was. So as always, the number comes up. We open the bottle. No gurgle. It's a nice looking bottle now. See this yeah. this indent here? Yeah. Right to hold. Almost like a chest. Right, right. So what do we got? Matured in uh, exquisite union of oak casks bottle to reveal full and heightened flavor. We're coming in at hazard a guess. ABV. 47. 51. Ooh. So we have a 51% ABV. Oh, we have a funny sticker on the back. Did you get this one from? A private collector, obtained from a private collector, oh, yeah. or the Queen of England, as you'd like to say. Yeah, they do have um, an extensive collection over there. So, uh, so this actually was an auction win. So it's coming from Europe, and so somebody's collection, and uh, it's now here with us and been opened. So, any any thoughts on McAllen, Malcolm? One of my favorite distillers, in the sense that. Now that my palate's broadening, and there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of good distillers out there, I'm not going to, but for yeah. me, whenever I hear McAllen, I think of the cream rising to the top, but what I always will say, and I think I've said it about every McAllen, and I would be shocked if I don't say about this, mm -hmm. it is so well put together and such a smooth drink. Yeah. What I'm excited about here is this 51%, right? That we're not in these uh, travel exclusives, these uh, duty-free shops yeah. coming in at 40, 43, which we've really enjoyed here. But we can feel confident that our complexity is going to level up, level up here at 51%. Correct. Right? 
And, um, and so that's what I'm really looking forward to. And we've talked before about folks being frustrated at the uh, secondary market of McAllen's yep. and um, you could get two or three bottles for the cost of one bottle, but we're not interested in that conversation. I think no. we're more interested in, hey, this came up and why wouldn't we enjoy something that is probably enjoyable? Correct. Yes. And I think, as you said, I think for, as far as I know, this will be the highest ABV McAllen I think I've tried. I can't think of one that's higher. I want to guess that the 2017 might have been a 51.7 or a 0.3. I think it was a little higher. Again, they all come in a little bit different. Yes. Um, And um, we do actually have them all here. Um, We don't have a 17 anymore because we drank it. Yeah. Was, but um, I do know that they are coming in at a variety of ABVs. But this is one of the higher ABV McAllen's that we have access to. The addition series are in the 40s, yep. and then the point matches the release. 0.1, 0.2, 0.3 for oh, really? edition 1, edition huh. 2, I never edition 3. Yeah. Yep. All right, McAllen, what do we got here? Uh, we can feel confident. Um, McAllen um, will declare... That no color added, non-chill filtered. Let's see if it's right here. Natural color right there. Um, And you said just oak, right? No sherry. Right. Um, I feel like we're going to be sherried. Okay. Right. McAllen is just so well known I was going to say. We'll take a look at the bottle while you take a look at the color. Um, I don't know McAllen to do much other than um, in some sort of a sherry cask. That's like a golden treacle color. Right, and we're no age statement here. All right, golden treacle. Golden treacle. All right. Oh, look at, look, at, look at this, look at this. I know. It's the leg on my, it's like this wide. It is, it is really impressive. And mine's just hanging, but I've got a few on right. the back side just starting to. Right. This is a, uh, a, a light amber. Right, yep. if we're going to go to those classic colors, um, it's a great color. When I think of when I think of whiskey, this is like a great color for whiskey. Right, and and the fact that we know confidently, right there stated, no color added. This is the color of the juice coming out of the barrel. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Uh, I've been. I, I've been looking forward to having another one of these classic cuts since we had the 2017, just because I just remember the complexity and the fact when we had Ethan Kelly here uh, from Acker Wines here on set a couple of seasons ago. Yep. Um, off camera, he had a glass of the 17 and was pretty impressed with it himself. Um, so I know some folks have declared the 17 is the, the- example of these classic cuts. Um, and so, you know, but that's not uncommon. Yep. Right? To sort of have one of Signi- a range. The one that really, that's, that's the true signature. That's the example, yeah. right? The signature, good word. Um, we're about to find out a little bit more about this one. So why don't we put it up to our nose? There it is, right? Yeah. There it is, that classic McAllen nosing, but quite potent. Hmm. There's like this menthol streak right down my nasal cavity into my uh, into the back of my throat. But I'm not getting the 51 alcohol, as in like I'm not being punched in the face. I got a little punched in the face. Really? Yeah. And something fruity. Uh, it's, it's, like- it's relaxing, yes. I want to say like a strawberry smell to it. Something red. We don't have any tasting notes. I just want to look at this collector's note on the back and see if it says anything. Just another government warning. This expression, sweet lightness. Oh my gosh, here we go, Mal. Interesting. So... Ex-bourbon casks. Oh. Seasoned. And then the sherry. So that sherry was right on the front. So yep. I was going to be very surprised if I was I was inaccurate on that classic McAllen opening. So it was there. So that bourbon, so maybe that's what I'm picking up is the cola. That like sort of cola. Because there's something there that's, that's, that's yep. nice and sweet. 
Yep. The sweet lightness from the ex bourbon and the depth and complexity of the sherry seasoned oak casks. All right. So this is exciting because I really like the buildup to a potentially nice, complex whiskey. Um, and I wonder if we're going to pick up some of this, mm, perhaps some of this vanilla and then some of this chocolate. And, and Mao's is going for some of this fruitiness as well. Man, there's something there I got the vanilla. Me. I just got the vanilla. And the vanilla is released from the charred oak. Right, so that's where that actually comes from, from the char on the oak in the barrel. And to, to take apart something that Ethan said that sort of stuck with me for, for, since then, something that reminds me of a childhood that you go and you, and you know what, this is sort of, I get this hint, I don't know if I, but remember the candy cigarettes? Yeah. Remember the smell the, the cotton used to have? It had like this distinct, like, I'm not going to say chalky, but like this. I was going to say chalky. But not yeah. chalky, but like it had like this 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 smell. Dusty. Yeah. Musty. Not musty, but like. Right. Leather, uh, a, a nice book, the pages of a nice leather bound book. But it's like, it's something really pleasant in there. There, There is. I mean, there are layers on the nose here. Do you agree? Agreed. Yeah. To know how much you take in, you get a different sort of... Right. And I did note that menthol at the beginning on that very potent nosing when I got punched with the ABV, and that's really gone now. So this is the 21 release. I just want to make sure of that. Yeah, the 21. Well, now... Yeah, let's do it. The test is in the taste. The classic cut. Classic cut. Cheers. Cheers. just wish everybody could see these legs on my glass. Um, there's a nice mouthfeel on this whiskey. It coated my mouth. It's not thin. It passed down quickly and easily, but the flavor is maintaining in my mouth. Um, the clear sherry notes, and the, um, it's almost as if, Mal, and correct me if you, if you disagree, that the bourbon notes are on the end and the sherry notes are on the front. I can't even describe because <laughs> I just, I'm just trying to, I got a little heat, but it was so smooth. And I'm trying to like rewind the sip to see if I pour anything out. So I'm I just had another one too. And there is an element of viscosity to this, to this drink. These legs are just wonderful on my glass. I'm still getting the sherry on the front side, and I'm still getting the bourbon on the back side. I'm getting definitely getting the bourbon on the back side. Right, I'm getting those darker, deeper flavors up front, and I'm getting those lighter, sweeter flavors on the back in the throat. I am currently exhaling vanilla. I can get the vanilla. Yep. And there's, I'm definitely staying with a red, a red fruit. Red fruit. And then maybe not strawberry, but like, like a blackcurrant or cherry. Okay, so cherry could be on the front, though, with the sherry. Whew. Do you get me on the viscosity? Yeah. There's some mouthfeel going on here. So now I threw it around my mouth this time around. Yeah. And remember you said that menthol. Yeah. Now yeah. I feel like I got it yeah. on the, my, my yeah. side of my tongue. The, the bridge of my mouth, mm -hmm. I can feel like, yeah. Right, right. The bridge that goes, uh, you know, above your teeth, right? Correct. And on the top, right? You can just run your tongue along it. Yeah, it, it's very tingly. Um, all right. Let's, let's see if we can find a flavor beyond the predictable sherry bourbon flavors. I mean, I'm still getting that classic McAllen nose. So uh, I'm going to throw this out here, and I'm going to say toffee. 
And the reason I say that is because when you go to put the glass to your mouth and the, and your, the glass starts to cover your nose, you sort of pick that up. So what I want you to do is take a small sip and I want you to keep it in the front of your mouth and just continuously roll it. Continuously roll it. And what I want you to pay attention to is the toffee. It's like you're creating, like on the seaside, yes. and there's that saltwater taffy, right? It's just getting mixed, and it's getting mixed. That's right? interesting. Right? You just made some toffee flavor in the mouth. Because the more you did roll it around, the yeah. more pronounced it became. It did. And, and it almost got thicker. Flip, almost like overpowering. It was right. got so, and, so it, and it got more viscous. That's interesting. Right? That is really interesting. Yeah. But again, I, I, and I can't overstate this. It's the smoothness. What, whatever you do with it in your mouth, right? Hold it in the back, hold it in the front, mm -hmm. swill it around. As soon as you start to take it, ingest it, it just goes down. It doesn't fight you. It doesn't say, yeah. oh, yeah. I'm going to make you pay for this. Yeah. I had a couple of punches, flavors. right? I got punched a couple of times. And that's probably the 51. But I maintained yeah. the, the 51, right? That's really, wow. All but right. I like that. Building the generation, the generation, mouth, right? Yeah, and I and I'm, I like that toffee. Yeah, because that's what it that's what it reminds me of. That's what I, I'm right. tasting. And toffee is often connected to the same chemical compound that's connected to vanilla in terms of the char in the oak. So that's a that's a yeah that's a legitimate connection. I guess is what I'm saying. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever done that before. Right, just sort of held it and manufactured, right? Yeah. Generated this experience. And it, and your whole mouth tingles. It, it, it electrifies your entire tongue. Like I'm, I, I can taste all over the place. Right. And now that I've done that, each sip, the, it like picks up yeah, where it was like up. Back it's off right it. there in that toffee. And it's right. like, holy moly, that's like gone. Right, we got right after this glass, but... I think we were excited. Randy delivered a nice bottle of whiskey for us this this evening on Try Before We Die. Um, I love the smoothness of the Macallan, though. It's just it, right. re remarkable. Right. It's these experiences that just makes me want to say to the folks who, who, who are critical of Macallan for what they've done with their business. Okay. Right? I'm like, just stop and have a nice glass of it. I mean, are you really telling me that if you're that critical of it, if I offered you a glass of this, you'd, no, nah, I'm not going to have it. I don't do McAllen's. <laughs> yeah, no, no McAllen for me. No, I just, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're fibbing. So, uh, so yeah. now I'm going to throw it, now we're going to throw it. Okay, I'm ready. You think this is better, on par, or something completely different? All honesty, the 2017, I think, was a little more complex. Okay. It had a little more sharpness between the flavors. This particular bottle, the flavors sort of blend together a yep. little bit more, whereas the 17th, they were more pronounced. Um, so if, if I'm buying a glass, I'm going to have the 17 over this. Yep. But um, I am not shaking a stick at this, and um, I guess I wouldn't be surprised if a bottle hit the reserve shelf around here somewhere. Yep. I, I like the fact that this is a little bit more muddled. Okay. Maybe not as maybe not as as as, as defined as the seventeen is. Mm -hmm. The seventeen is without a doubt. It's yeah. a fantastic drink. Mm -hmm. we, we've talked about it. Yep. But this has got the earmark of a Macallan. Yep. And I like this. Create your own drink. Generate. <laughs> right. Create. Like use your mouth. Right. And your in. And find the flavor, right? It's there. Give it time to develop. But that's really good. Mm. Every single sip since we did that tongue roll in the mouth has really been toffee on the front. And then it moves back into that bourbon profile yep. on the backside, yep. right? nope. which is totally enjoyable. So it really begins heavy. It really begins deep. It begins dark. It begins intense. And it ends light. With the vanilla and the vanilla wafting back that sort of a little more of that traditional sweetness. So we have deep dark sweet to start, and then we have light sweet to end. Um, it's a nice glass of whiskey. I think if I was to say something that would be like, okay, if this was this was to be changed, the only thing I might do and say, hey, look, if they had just ratcheted it down a couple ABVs, 
I think this would have been a completely different drink. Well, you could do that with water, but I I'm, could, I'm, but I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, yeah. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm going to do it. Right. <laughs> so the 2021 Macallan Classic Cut, it's working for us. Yeah. Um, it's nice, and we're making it our own experience by a time in the mouth. Uh, let's see what the crew has for us tonight on Try Before We Die. That's a good thing. All right. I, 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 you want to do You want me to do it? You want to do it? You do it. All right. <clears throat> to the moments that turn into memories and the strangers that turn into friends. Well, hey. Which is a... Uh, very true. A constant. constant. It's, it's a truth. It is that's, the very that's truth. That's got a lot of depth and complexity. Sort of like Sort of like the McCallum. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right. I like that, that churning your own drink. Yeah. I yeah. don't think I've ever, ever thought about doing that myself. That's just classic. It's the classic cut. It, uh, it would be wonderful to know sort of the youngest and the oldest barrels connected to this whiskey, and we'll never find out. But the fact that we've got this nice amber, golden treacle yep. color, right, means that we're well beyond the three years in the cask. Oh, I would There's some nice whiskey in this bottle, uh, and it's all transitioned to a nice whiskey in the glass. Nicely done. Sky. 